Hey physics folks, we are looking at this for a moment, then we're going to take a look at the pop can because bef uh, before we took a look at the balloon and the sweater. All right, that happens, we know that. But now we want to look at the balloon and the wall. So maybe you've seen it where somebody charged a balloon by rubbing it on their hair and then they stuck it to a wall. Well, I'm not charging the wall, but will it stick? Looks like it did. All right, why is it sticking? Well, the wall isn't charged. If you go through and count the number of positives and the number of negatives, you're going to find that there are equal number of positives and negatives in the wall. So it does not have a charge. However, we can see that the electrons are able to move. In the case of the balloon and the sweater, the electrons are able to be stolen away from the sweater. But in the case of the wall, they're able to move and they get repelled by the negative charge of the balloon. So they go over there. So what is the result of that? Well, we have a wall that now has a positive side and a negative side. If you want to think about it as two poles, like north and south pole on a magnet. Magnets can be described with positive and negative but we call it north and south because mag mag er, magnets are used in compasses which help us find our way on a map, north and south. But you can use positive and negative. And so what's happening here is this wall has been induced into having poles. It has a positive side and it has a negative side. All right. The balloon is attracted to the positive side. There you go. All right. When we take the balloon away, the negatives that are in that wall are again tracted to the positive protons. They go back to where they were, and everything's good. Moral of the story is that wall is not charged, but it is interacting with a charged object. Now, when you look at the pop can, you will see the negatives moving. All right. So try and identify which side of the pop can is the positive side and which side is the negative side. They have poles, and that's why this process is called polarization. Okay, so let's take a look at the pop can. All right, here is our pop can. We see a bunch of negative charges. It's like, well, what the heck? Where are the positives? Spoiler alert, uh, the positives are underneath the negatives. Let's see if we can see them. So I'm going to use a glass rod, and the glass rod, it looks like, has a positive charge. So what is that doing? Well, it's attracting all the electrons over to this side of the can. Okay. Now, what does that mean? That means that this side of the can is now the negative pole of this can, and this side is the positive pole of the can. Positive and negative over here, the positive of the glass rod attracts the negative pole of the can. And so we can move the can by moving the rod. It's magic. What about... Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like it. Okay, negatives go back to their positives because they're attracted to the positives. Now, grab the rubber rod. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. What's happening here? Okay, now the negative charge of the rubber rod is repelling all the negatives. The negatives are the only one that's moving. It repels the negatives over to the other side, and now we have poles. The negative pole is here, the positive pole is over here, and the positive pole of the can is attracted to the negative rubber rod. And so you can move it with the can. All right. So we have an uncharged object, and we see how the uncharged object is actually attracted to both positive and negative things. And that's why, because this positive is attracted to the negative side of the can, and this negative rod is attracted to the positive side of the can. All right. uh, you can do it in real life. You can do it. It's magic. Uh, if you don't have a glass rod or any type the things we've been using in class, if you have a PVC pipe at home, one of those white uh, plastic pipes, it works really good. All right. 
Let me know if you have any questions about polarization.